Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the PO Clinical Movement Data Software from Silicon Coach. The PO Clinical Movement Data Software was designed to help make the process of gait analysis more systematic, objective, and repeatable. It uses videos, on screen analysis tools, data recording forms, and input from an analyst to automatically generate reports for the patient, referrer, or other health practitioners or funders. This tutorial will take you through the mechanics of using the software, but it's not a lesson on how to analyze gait. So let's get started. The software has been designed to be very fast and easy to use. This is accomplished by removing all the generic features of video analysis tools and only including those needed for gait analysis. Also it has a very linear flow. You basically move forwards or backwards through four main screens. This image below describes the workflow. Each black box is a screen, and after the welcome screen, there's only four other screens to work through. The client information screen contains the client's name, contact information, and old assessment reports. In the prefit screen, you can enter the clinician, assessment type, and there's a place for any relevant notes. The capture screen is where you capture and select videos, and the analyze screen is where you analyze the videos. Now we'll work through each of these screens in more detail. On the welcome or home screen, you can add your own images or even videos and they'll scroll through in this space here. However, the main purpose of this screen is to allow you to choose to do a quick analysis or to create a new client in the database or to choose to review or edit an existing client. Clicking either new client or existing client will take you to the same customer information screen we'll see next. However, if you choose existing client, you'll get the opportunity to select the client from your database, and then that client's details will be loaded for you. The client information is collected and displayed on the left of the screen here. You can see that old reports take up the majority of the screen over here. The review videos button down here is very handy. If you want to review the client's videos, without going through the process of making a whole new report. You also have options down here. If you click Edit, you will be editing the current report. If you click Edit and Copy, you'll be editing a copy of the current report, which will remain untouched. And next will take you to the next screen, where you will start a new report. Now I'll click the Next button to continue. In the Prefit screen, you must choose the technician or physician's name from the pull-down menu. You add your own names by right mouse clicking and typing them in the window that appears. After choosing the technician's name, choose the assessment type. This selects the type of assessment procedure that you'll follow. If you're not following any procedure, then just choose blank. It's important to note you cannot edit this list. You can also enter notes that will be included in the report here or not included in the report here. Click on the next button to continue. On the capture screen, you can choose what combination of cameras you wish to use from the capture options list. The most common choice is a narrow front view and a wide side view, but for simplicity in this presentation, I'll choose a single camera, which in this example is a side on view. The thumbnails show you previous videos you've captured for this client. To review a previously captured video, just drag the thumbnail into the single playback option. To review two videos at once, drag two videos onto the dual playback option and synchronize the videos in the intermediate synchronization screen that will appear automatically when you press next. However, in this example, we're going to capture live video. Press the capture button to start the capture process. Unless you press the stop button beforehand, the system will stop capturing after a length of time specified under the Capture Settings button. Once capture is finished, you'll automatically be taken to the Analyze screen. There are two very distinct areas in the screen, the Video and Tools area and the Recording Form area. Recording forms guide you through a systematic gait assessment and then take that information and create a report from it. So let's start an analysis. I can drag the video scrubber through the video until I get close to some key point. In this example, it's initial contact. Once I'm close, I use the arrow key on my keyboard to advance frame by frame. 
The recording form asks for an image of initial contact. I have two options here, a full screen image, or I could choose a selected area of the screen using the select tool, and then I click on the clipboard button to paste it in. Now I will repeat the process for the second measurement, which in this case is heel lift. Now I make my selections from the pull down menus, and then I could go on to complete the form, but I won't in this example because I know that I can come back into this analysis later and finish it off. Instead, let's take the time to have a quick look at some of the analysis tools. The normal angle tool requires three clicks to create the angle. The arrow tool is good for pointing out areas of interest, as is the oval tool. Although the analysis tools are pretty self-explanatory, you can review how to use them by pressing F1 on the keyboard at any time as shown here. Once in the help you can find out what each tool does, how to use it, and some possible uses of it. So let's close the help and delete our analysis. Then choose to finish and then save this report. And now you can see that the new report is back here in the client's information area. We've now finished with this client, so I'll click the finish button again to get back to the welcome screen. If you remember this workflow diagram from the start of this presentation, you may have noticed a quick analysis option. This option's just that, just two mouse clicks and you've captured a video and you're ready to analyze it. The capture and analyze screens are the same as if you were doing a full client assessment, except there's no place to record any data. It's important to note that quick analysis videos are not saved for more than 30 days and there's no client data associated with the videos. In summary then, the P&O Clinical Movement Data Software was designed to help make the process of gait analysis more systematic, objective and repeatable. It's simple to use, a full analysis is just done on four screens. Data collected in the process is used automatically to create a report at the end. Quick analysis is very fast, but no client information or video is saved. And the help can be accessed by pressing F1 at any time. We hope you enjoy using this software. If you require more information, please contact sales at siliconcoach.com.